What it up, y'all? This is Denzel B. Ryan signing on with you guys and girls. And today we are officially, finally, at the season one, episode six, season finale of Marvel's Moon Knights. I wonder how this episode is going to go down. I wonder if we're going to see the Jake um, third personality of all the three characters so far. So far, um, Steven has took in the Kate, taken the uh, bullet. Like he's down, he's out. He fell into the, he died supposedly in the last episode, which was really a shocker and a very, a very emotional one episode, I must say. And um, I'm wonder how and where this journey is going to take um, Mark. He's going to make Jake his other different personality. And I wonder how this is going to end. Are they going to defeat and kill Ahmed uh, with the Egyptian thing that's going on with them? So it's so many things that's going on, stuff like that. It's all right, so. But less talking and more reactions, because I'm really excited about this last episode. Y'all ready? Good. Action! Who wants to heal the world? Ooh. That was a cool little transformation. I'm wondering where Jake is going to pop up. Hopefully he'll pop up in this last episode. Your soul is mine. <laughs> Man, you don't need this anymore. <laughs> You're submitted to me now. I am the goddess toilet. Oh, ain't that the um hippo? It's Mark who's telling you to stop. Oh, wow, that's interesting. She's transferring to different souls to soul. Interesting, so the hippo lady is going to be inside of Layla, the avatar. Is that true and accurate to the comic books, I'm assuming? What does it mean? Someone is trying to release Amit. It's all the Egyptian gods are gathering together for all this great danger. Oh, you got to break Kanshu out, man. This is giving me like mummy slash Mortal Kombat vibes. Oh! Oh my god! That looks beautiful and terrifying at the same time. Good lord! Yeah, you gotta hurry up, break Kanshu out, man. They are worthy, my goddess. But you are the one who set me free. You are the avatar that I need. As you wish. Like he's been waiting for this moment, like, yeah, man. Kanshu! I do not sense Mark Spector in this world. You need a plan, little bug. When I <laughs> little <you> bug. <laughs> Only an avatar can do it. I said no. <laughs> you little bug, you're just worthless. Don't reason with her. Well, Mark is like, he's just in vacation, he's just paradising. I don't want to leave this moment. <laughs> Mark really does need that. But you gotta come back to Earth, bro, because your vacation is over with, man. <laughs> no, I'm not good with that. Wait, think about this. Well, that reminds me. That reminds me so much of Black Panther vibes. You know, when T'Challa didn't accept the fate with his dad, what he's done, and T'Challa just went back to Earth like that. So many similar comparisons. I love that. You are the only real superpower. Wow, that is so symbolic. That that's that's really a message right there. Wow. It's like that bond, like we weren't, we were, we were need to be together. You never learn. Ooh! Oh shoot! Also, when they battle each other, what's that's going to cause disruption in the underworld or something like that? He's resurrected. Now get your butt over there. Hey, he's back! He's back! Yo, the way how he suits up, though, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty dope, man. That's, that's some fire visual effects and artwork. Yeah, well, I think you can take this one, Mark. Hurry up! Hurry up! <laughs> Ooh, yo! That was nice. 
That was nice. <laughs> She's not even done. <laughs> I really love her character, that Hippo's character. Woo! Cape flapping! Judge everyone! Oh, no, I, uh, I, I wouldn't like that. You ain't gonna be judging me. See, that explains what happens in a previous episode with the, when he was mentally, you know, in a mental hospital. Oh, shoot, and she gets bigger like that. Just like, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of in Shang-Chi with that dragon when he took all the soul dweller thing. That is, oh, man. So Ahmed and that dragon might have some history together. You never know. Okay, Layla. Okay. Kind of cute there. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Yo, this is so fire, man. Yo, I was not expecting this. Yo, yeah, this is awesome. Oh, shoot. Yo, yeah, her suit is so cool, man. I'm loving this. Yo, look, look at the. Bro, get it, Steve. Woo! <laughs> oh, shoot. That was nice. That transition, that was dope. Oh. <laughs> so you did it. <laughs> Swag, love it. Oh shoot, man, this is so dope, man. Yo, can I be honest? That's giving me, she's giving me more like Wonder Woman vibes, like so awesome. Oh no! Yeah, my hands is like we're literally sweating. Like <laughs> this is so intense and great. What the heck? Not a chance, mate. Jake, it's Jake. It's Jake. It's gotta be Jake. It's gotta be Jake. His final third personality. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> hey. He said bye bye. Bye bye. You have a choice. You want them dead? Do it yourself. It's the hero mentality. As you wish. But seriously, though, can I keep the suit though? Like, like that suit is fire. Like, I, I would, I would. I would just keep the suit. Like I would, I would keep the suit. I would have killed. I would give me the suit. Is that real? Is this chair, desk, the light. Okay, is this Why real or is this not real? What do you believe? How long is a piece of string? Is that Jake? Oh, yeah, I see it. Well, it is tempting to accept your diagnosis, Doc. It's Jake. I just got this. What just happened? I believe that was Jake. He imprisoned the bad guy in his mental state and he's free. But was it all a dream as Biggie Smalls would say? What? Two goldfishes? 
Was this a mental state? I can't believe you live in this freaking mess. Yo, man. They do have an end credit scene here, so let's see what this end credit scene is. Go for it, end credit. Ah, it's reverse psychology. I beg your pardon. Okay, who is that with the black glove? Who is this? Jake the cab driver. Yo, Spectre. Yo. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. <laughs> that was so awesome. <laughs> Yo. Yo. That was awesome! Dude! What a finale, man! Oh my god, man! That type of scope and everything that just happened in the finale was so brilliant, man. Get to see in the battle between the gods, Khonshu with Ahmed battling someone, which we have never seen in an MCU scale before. Um, it's usually like in a DC scale in DC comics like that, but in my vast eyes and visuals and thoughts, I have never seen that before. That fight scene was awesome. Uh, Moon Knight and Layla suiting up. Almost kind of a little sexier than um, Princess Leia in her little Jabba the Hutt dress, but just more hotter. Gave me a little Wonder Woman vibes and stuff like that because I thought about the girl. And the girl, she says, are you an Egyptian superhero? She said, maybe. I thought about Wonder Woman and Justice League and stuff like that. Very inspirational, very awesome suit. And um, is that the hippopotamus um, um, goddess that got inside of Layla or something like that? And gave her that power in her avatar or something like that? I believe it is. Um, but overall, man, this season finale really, really paid it off. Um, just seeing the scales, the battles, and also, I was waiting for Jake to pop up in this episode because, you know what's funny? After watching all the episodes, so episodes one through six, Jake was there the whole time. So what that really means, what it's really explaining to us is that when Moon, uh, what's his name, Steven or Mark, when he black out or blink out certain things, they fade out, it was mostly Jake doing all the killings throughout that whole time, which they never knew because in the other episode, one asked them, hey, Mark, did you do that? No, Steven, I didn't do that. So their third personality is Jake because in the comic books which I did some little research that Jake is the most brutal personality of all times like getting it down like a boxer or something like that and a New York cab driver which was a great speculation at the end which I really loved um I love how Khonshu is just like the godfather like hey yo Jake you know let's go around and kill all these other bad people and all these bad goddesses around the town you know whatever you say boss and Jake shot um the, the dude the bad guy with the glass feet in the head and what I really loved about this show, the whole season in general, that it made you feel like it was confusing, but yet not confusing because, you know, Mark is going from one world into another world. It's like a mentally psychosis state, you know, like did it really happen or did it happen to happen or not to happen? William Shakespeare, but that's my version <laughs> and stuff like that. But I really love shows like that to make you think like you really going crazy because the bad guy in certain episodes really make you feel like, okay, am I in a mental hospital or did it really happen and stuff like that? Then you go into the afterlife and stuff like that. Mark, Steven, and Jake, mostly these two, Mark and Steven had a really, really rough week and day mentally and stuff like that. So they think you need to take a break for that. Um, but overall, man, this whole show in general was very interesting. Now, if it was a full-fledged movie, it could have been an awesome movie. But as a TV show, fleshing out the characters a little bit more, stuff like that. I get it. Stuff like that. It's all good. But I really, really enjoyed the show. Like I said, in the start of the beginning, I knew nothing about New Moon Knight. I was interested in Moon Knight and Ultimate Alliance video game by playing the PS3 version. I saw all the characters and stuff. And yo, that scene when he did the moon cape thing like a, almost like batman but he was flying too i did not know he could do that that was all cool in the combo moves and the hands to hand things that they were going through in the episodes and stuff like that was so so awesome i really love marvel is really i'm gonna tell you something marvel is really really great with their um 
Final Battles, uh, uh, Act 3 Final Battles, man. This one was so amazing. The Battle of the Gods and them fighting on the streets and blah, blah, blah. And imprisoning, um, what's her name, Amit inside um, the guy. So is Amit really dead since she, you know, Jake killed and shot him in the head and stuff like that, you know. And I wonder where the future potential of where Moon Knight is going to be going through stuff like that. So since I'm assuming since Marcus Stevens surrendered their life, and say they, they don't want them no more. But Jake, I guess he's going to be the more brutal one since he accepts Khonshu and, and stuff. And um, yeah, man, that was a really, really fantastic show. Out of all total scores, I would give this show rating a 9.5 out of 10 stars, man. Really excellent show. Really makes you think. Makes you feel crazy in certain places but crazy in a good way this was so awesome oscar isaac you did a fantastic job man the, that episode that made me feel a little emotional bro it was so it was so amazing and and what's her name the, the chick lydia or, or, or layla layla thank you layla did a fantastic job i was not expecting is layla really a superhero well of course she is it's, it's in there but i never knew that i don't know too much about the story lore and stuff like that and all the actors and everything was great Conchu was pretty cool just that moon Knight suit man I freaking love that suit, man. I love that suit, man. Yeah, man. But uh, there you have it. We finished the journey. The MCU of Marvel's Moon Knight. I wonder where Moon Knight's going to be. Or who, is he going to bump into the Midnight Suns? Maybe when Blade comes out and, and all these dark heroes come out, like Ghost Rider or something like that. Hopefully, they'll team up. Or maybe it might be a TV show. Or it could be a film. Or some forth. I don't know how they're going to do with the Marvel horror thing that's going on. Stuff like that. But yeah. But Moon Knight... You're an awesome superhero, man. Awesome superhero. You got my superhero awards, man. And, uh, yeah, well, that wraps up, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys and girls thoughts about the final episodes of Marvel's Moon Knight? Comment below and please let me know. Also, if you really, 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 really love my reactions, click that like button, subscribe, and share. More videos posted each and every other week and stuff like that. And, uh... I'm just mind blown by that episode. That was really awesome. And yes, my Doctor Strange reactions will be coming soon. My review of the movie, which is coming soon, which I really can't wait. And uh, check out these other vids as well, too. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. This is Denzel B. Red. Sign out. <laughs> With the power of Khonshu. Ha ha!